Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the features of the Web's Online app in Origin 2016. The following video will be based on this blog post by Sean Mao, and can be found at the address given in the description. Here we have some sample population data from several countries around the globe. Let's say we want to superimpose this data on a map to better illustrate the distribution of the world's population. To begin, let's launch the Maps Online app and click the plus button to the right side of the Map Source option. Here you'll see a text file with all of the different sources this app uses for its data. Let's scroll to the very last entry and make sure the following text appears in this file. If you had to add this source to the INI file, make sure you save it before closing out. Now let's import our map. Set your map source to the very last option, and because we'll be adding multiple layers to this map, click the plus icon to the right of the layers option. Here you can see all the maps available from the current source. Note that only maps from the same source can actually be combined. First, let's select the layer Cartographic National Boundaries. Then, go down to row 74 and select GPWV3 Population Count for 2000. Now to adjust the order in which these layers appear, click and hold the 74 button so the whole row is highlighted and now drag it all the way to the top. This will place this layer below the boundaries so that we then both sets of data are visible. Next, to set our map to input on a matrix, click on the three lines in the very lower left hand corner of the dialog and bring up Load Into Matrix. Then go back and make sure the area option is set to automatic. After clicking OK, you can see that our map has been imported as a matrix object. Next, what we want to do is bring this map onto an XY plane. To begin, let's right-click on the thumbnail of the map in the matrix window and select Add to create a new matrix object. Then right-click on the thumbnail of the blank matrix object and select Properties to bring up the Matrix Properties dialog. Set the data type under Options to Double Eight and then click OK to close the dialog. With the No Matrix object highlighted, let's create a 3D color map surface. Once we made our 3D color map, right-click or double-click on the surface plot to bring up plot details. With the plot node highlighted on the left panel, go to the Surface tab and check Shift and Z by percent of scale range, 0 equals bottom, 100 equals top. Do not change the default value for this. We want to place our surface at the bottom of our plot. Then go to the Fill tab and select Fill Piece by Piece, and in the drop-down menu, select By Points, and set this surface to display our map as direct RGB matrix values. Then make sure you've unchecked the Enable Contours tick box, as well as the same in the Mesh tab. Highlight the Layer 1 node on the left-hand panel and go to the Size Speed tab. There you'll uncheck the Matrix Data tick box, turning off Speed Mode. Then go to the Axis tab and set the Link Axis Length to Scale to be XY, so that axis lengths are directly related to the axis scale. In the Planes tab, uncheck YZ and ZX to turn off those two planes. And click OK. The labels, ticks, lines, and titles of our axis may be deleted, as well as the color scale, as we will not be using these features in our final graph. Now that we've projected our map onto a 3D plane, it's time to add our data. To do this, let's begin by double-clicking on the Layer 1 icon in the top left corner of our window to open the Layer Contents dialog. From here we can set our data to display as 3D bars and add the Population column from our worksheet. Upon clicking OK, you can see that our data floats away from our map. This can be changed relatively easily by clicking on the Rescale button in the top right corner of our Origin workspace. After rescaling our data, we're going to make some quick changes to its formatting, including the outline shape, enabling labels, and adjusting them so they appear on the multicolored backdrop by adding a whiteout. Once these basic formatting properties have been changed, we'll click OK. Now, 
we want to adjust this graph so it's more legible. To do this, first click on any blank space in your graph window to display a cube with blue edges. From here we'll select the Resize tool, second from the left, and click on the blue cube on the very top of the axes that display to readjust the Z scale. To resize our 3D graph to appear on the whole page, click on the blank space next to your graph and you'll see blue squares appearing at each edge and corner of our plot's boundaries. After resizing our graph and rotating it, we can see our finished product, a 3D map of the world's countries, with populations plotted as 3D bars above its surface.